Hey, what's up everyone? It's Austin here, or Luna, coming at you with a fucking three in the morning video. Uh, if you're awake to see this, you're a fucking beast. Appreciate you. But uh, if you're not, then uh, I guess you're watching this days later, months later, years later, decades later. I don't fucking know. But today's video, I'm telling a story about the curse of the evil ex-girlfriend, okay? Now people are probably going to comment and be like, you had a you had a girlfriend? You sure it wasn't some like 40 year old dad catfishing you online and then when you met, like you just dated him anyway? No, it it wasn't. It wasn't a dad. At least I don't know. I, I don't think so. But about a year and a half ago, I was dating this girl. We'll call her Emily. Okay, now me and Emily, we're in a relationship for about two months. And I held off on telling this story for a long time because it bothers me to fucking tell. But I don't fucking care. I'm just going to do it now. I don't really mind. Anyway, so about a year back, right? Me and Emily, we're going to call her Emily, went to a party. And it was really, really, really annoying because it was just a bunch of dudes, mostly, and they were all drunk as hell. So, like, it was super hard to talk to people, super annoying, really crowded. People were just being ridiculous. And within, like, the first 45 minutes of being there, Emily, aka my girlfriend at the time, was partying a little bit too hard. She started getting really loud. And she was just having way too much fun, like, way more fun than I ever could at this party. But anyway, I ended up getting split from her into, like, a different section of the house because my friend came over and grabbed me. He wanted to introduce me to some people. So I went over there towards where the pool was, and she was staying where we walked in. So, you know, I just told her I'd be right back, right? She was there with my friends. I didn't think anything of it. She was just talking to some of my friends at the door near where we came in, and I trusted them, and I trusted her. But my one friend grabbed me, introduced me to some people. I said hi to them, talked to them for, like, 20 minutes. And then I told them that we can link up later. I'm just going to go grab my girlfriend. And I went over to the area where we walked in, where she should be, talking to my friend still, and she was gone. And I was super confused, so I asked my friend, I was like, yo, where'd Emily go? He's like, I have no idea, man. And I was like, okay. So I'm just like, whatever. So I sit on the couch for like 30 minutes, maybe she's in the bathroom or something, and she'll come out. Still no sign of her after 30 minutes. And I was like, alright, you know what, this is weird. So I stand up, I go up to my other friend. I was like, yo, man, have you seen Emily anywhere? He's like, nah, she was here earlier, but I have no idea where she went. And I was just like, damn, and I kept looking, and I just couldn't find her. And after about like another 15 minutes of just sitting on the couch, texting her, like seeing where she was, I see her come down the stairs into the living room, holding a dude's hand. And I was like, oh, okay. So, so this, this is how the night's going to go for me. I can see where this is heading. And I don't know why, but I just didn't care at all when I saw it. Like most people would see that and just be super, super upset and like angry. I mean, I was kind of angry, but not like how I thought I would feel. But anyway, they both walked right by me holding hands, just didn't pay me any attention. And I know someone's going to comment and be like, Luna, why don't you fight him, man? Why don't you beat him up? Well, first of all, this dude was like 10 times bigger than me. Second of all, like I said, for some reason, I just didn't care. But after another like 5, 10 minutes, the guy went to the bathroom or something and she was alone. So I went up behind her and I tapped her on the shoulder. And she turned around, she's like, hey, baby. And like she went to go for like a hug. And I was just like, what's up? And she's just like, nothing, just, you know, waiting for you. And I was like, oh, yeah, you wait for me with a dude's dick up you. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I, I kind of saw you come down the stairs holding the dude's hand. And even if you guys didn't have sex or anything, like, that's pretty weird that you were holding his hand. She's like, no, 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 you got it all wrong. He's a friend of mine. We didn't do anything. Trust me. We've known each other for a long time. I was like, okay, let's wait here then. So the guy comes out of the bathroom. She looks super nervous. He has the most confusing look on his face as he approaches us. And I was like, hey, man, have you known her for a really long time? And he's like, what? And I was like, you've known her for a long time, right? She claims you guys have been friends for a super long time and that you're just friends. And he just goes, nah, that's not true. I just met her tonight. He's like, who are you? I was like, well, I am her boyfriend or at least was. And he just gets this smirk on his face and starts laughing at me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, man, it's funny. Don't even worry about it. Like, don't even worry about it. It's all good. She has AIDS anyway. Enjoy the STD. I hope it was worth it. And like his face and her face just immediately changed. Like she looks so angry. He looks so scared. And I just start laughing back at them. And I turn around and walk away. And yeah, I said bye to my friends. Was walking out the door. Turned around. Saw her and him still talking. And I think he was just questioning her about who I was. Or if she actually had an STD. Which she didn't. I just said that to be a jerk because I was angry. But anyway, I walked out the door, went home. Later that night, I got a whole text message from her apologizing and admitting to everything they did because I knew she was lying in my face at the party. I didn't really know what to say. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're forgiven. It's okay. Or yeah, don't worry about it. Let's just keep dating. Don't do it again. Like, no, I'm not doing that. I just replied. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, that's all I said. Like, yeah, I know. Good luck with your life. And that was about it. But like, it's not fun to catch people cheating. I hope none of you have ever had to deal with that. If you ever have caught someone cheating, make sure you leave your stories in the comments down below. But that's basically the end of the video. Um, yeah. Leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. Subscribe if you're new. Sorry this video was so late. I have one earlier tomorrow. Or today, technically. But yeah, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications, all that. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.